back in the late 80s with gauntlet needles and barbells. I was mostly, I was a freehand guy because I couldn't afford their fucking clamps, dude. They were so expensive, crazy expensive. Um, and I remember seeing a lot of photos of, that my grandmother had, and there was nobody had a forceps on a nipple. It was just like not done. Um, <clears throat> so this very day here, this was about two weeks into Nomad being open, I remember Christian said, don't these clamps seem ridiculous? And I was like, yeah, they're, why did we just spend all this money? Because you know, we grew up with them, and I, when I worked for Vaughn and he worked for Jim Moore, because that's what he did. He clamped the cork, he didn't receive it, it was just a thing. It's like I'm piercing in and out, that's interesting too. Um, so, and I'll tell you something, I'm not like the freehand snob, I still climb a ton because tons are slippery. And, you know, I had this piercer come in and he said, can you freehand it? I'm like, I think I can manage. And I did. I was like, I haven't freehanded at the time in my six years, so it's still there. Um, male nipples, I've always thought. I mean, I've had my nipples done like four times. The clamp was like the worst part. So I just freehanded it. And there's something I have to quote from my DVD, which is freehand is more than the absence of clamps. It's really about navigating a needle point to point through tissue as quickly as possible with minimal trauma. You know, and I can go against the Clinton court and pull off a good nipple just as quickly um, and definitely less painfully. So, 